the invasion of Draenor. As the fires of the Second War died down, the Alliance took aggressive steps to contain the Orcish threat. A, large, a number of large internment camps meant to house the captive Orcs were constructed in the south and southern Lord Ruan. Guarded by both the Paladins and the veteran soldiers of the Alliance, the camps proved to be a great success. Though the captive Orcs were tense and anxious to do battle once more, the various camp wardens, based at uh, the old prison fortress of Durnhold, kept the peace and maintained a strong semblance of order. However, on the hellish order, on the hellish world of Draenor, a new orcish army prepared to strike at the unsuspecting alliance. Nerzul, the former mentor of Gul'dan, rallied the remaining orc clans under his dark banner. Aided by the Shadowmoon clan, the Oak Shaman planned to open a number of portals on Draenor that would lead the Horde to new, unspoiled worlds. To power his new portals, he needed a number of enchanted artifacts from Azeroth. To procure them, Nerzul reopened the Dark Portal and sent his ravenous servants charging through it. The new horde led by chieftains such as Grom Hellscream and Kilrog Deadeye of the Bleeding Hallow Clan surprised the Alliance's defenses, defense forces and rampaged throughout the countryside. Under Nerzul's surgical command, the orcs quickly round up the artifacts that they needed and, held, and fled back to the safety of Draenor. King Terranus of Lordaeron, convinced that the orcs were preparing a new invasion of Azeroth, assembled his most trusted lieutenants. He ordered General Turalion and the Archmage Khadgar to lead an expedition through the Dark Portal to put an end to the work orcish threat once and for all. Turalion and Khadgar's forces marched into Draenor and repeatedly clashed with Nerzul's clan upon the ravaged Hellfire Peninsula. Even with the aid of the High Elf Illyria Windrider, the Dwarf Cordan Wildhammer, and the veteran soldier Danath Trollblane, Khadgar was unable to prevent, the Ner to prevent Nerzul from opening his portals to other worlds. Nerzul finally opened his portal to other worlds. But he did not foresee the terrible price he would pay. The portals, the portal's tremendous energies began to tear to tear the fabric of Lord of Draenor apart. As Turalion's forces fought desperately to return home to Azeroth, the world of Draenor began to buckle in upon itself. Grom Hellscream and Kilrog Deadai, realizing that Nerzul's mad plan would doom their entire race, rallied the remaining orcs and escaped back to the relative safety of Azeroth. On Draenor, Turalion and Khadgar agreed to make the ultimate sacrifice by destroying the Dark Portal from their side. Though it would cost the, it would cost their lives and the lives of their companions, they knew that it was the only way to ensure Azra's survival. Even as Hellscream and Deadeye hacked their way through the human ranks in a desperate bid for freedom, the Dark Portal exploded behind them. For them and the remaining orcs on Azroth, there would be no going back. Nerzu and his loyal Shadowmoon clan passed through the largest of the newly created portals. As massive volcano eruptions began to break Draenor's continents apart, the burning sea rose up and roiled and roiled the shattered landscape as the tortured world was finally consumed in a massive apocalyptic explosion.